What's going on guys, it's JD John here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a YouTube profile picture. So before we go straight into this, just take 10 seconds of your time to like this video and it really helps me out. So yeah guys, when you're done, let's get straight into this. So the first thing that you want to do is open Photoshop. When you open Photoshop, you want to go to File, you want to go to New, and you want to make sure your width is 500, and your height is 500, and then press OK. It will get give you this square box, and that's where you're, where you're going to make your YouTube profile picture. So the first thing in making a YouTube profile picture is having a nice background. So you can easily go to the color picker over here and pick a color, for example, blue. Press OK and Control Backspace, it'll fill in the color blue. Or else if you want a gradient overlay, you can go to layer 1, blending options. And you can pick a gradient overlay right here. There's already presets installed for you like this. This one for kind of like a Call of Duty background or something like that. And there's many, many more. So you can just uh, try them out if you want. But what you really want to do to make your YouTube profile picture look a bit more professional is head over to Google Images and... Um, Type down radial backgrounds, which will give you uh, these backgrounds like this, spirally ones, or you can have grunge backgrounds, which are more for like Call of Duty backgrounds. But right now, I'm just going to pick a, a radial background because I really like these type of ones. So I'm just going to look for a nice one. Uh, this one. So right here. And you want to make sure that the height and width is maybe a bit bigger or about the same size as your uh, profile picture by 500 by 500 so when you do that just right click and save image as and then I'm gonna call it reddish background for PP that's for short for a profile picture then you wanna save it then you wanna head over back to Photoshop and you wanna create a new layer then you want to place the profile picture, the background, sorry, that um, you chose. So go to File, Place, and then you want to find your background. So I think I have it in uh, one of these texture packs, YouTube Images. I think I have it in here, and I think I do. Um, Yeah, right here. So you select that, and then you go Place. And then here are your anchor points. So you want to make your anchor points a bit bigger or your image a bit bigger and then just uh, spread them out like this and then you want to press that check mark right there so that's your background done pretty much but you want to add a bit more effects to it so what you want to do is head over and hover above your background layer and right click in blending options and this will come up so many possibilities what you can do with uh, these blending options just uh, be creative and just mess around with them so for example you can add a stroke maybe an inside stroke like a 10 maybe or but right now I'm not going to do that okay Un untick that I'm going to maybe add um a gradient overlay actually a color overlay I'm gonna pick um, a blue maybe press OK I'm gonna make the opacity 50 no actually 15 or 60 20 yeah I'm gonna make the opacity 20 so it just gives you kinda of like a tint to it which is pretty pretty nice it'll make your text stand out a bit more from the background so it's pretty cool makes it look more professional as well and then you want to press OK then the main part of the profile picture is making your uh, logo so if you want to add um, a J or something if your name starts with J or M whatever you want just add that text so go to the text tool over here and then you want to make your PT to maybe 200 and then pick a font that you like and just click on it make sure you made a new layer and then check yeah that see that J uh, looks pretty nice 
but it's too small so I'm going to highlight it and then make the PT 300 nope 400 and yeah I'm going to click that check mark right there and that's your main text done or logo for your profile picture done and then you want to add effects to it so then again go to blending options and what I usually do is bevel and emboss I do um depth or depth whatever 70 and then I'm giving a stroke of 4 maybe yeah I'm gonna give it a stroke of 4 that looks pretty nice just experiment with it guys it's your own personal taste to it so you might like it this way so you can try it a different way it's all up to you really it's there's so many possibilities and I might gonna I'm gonna do um, a color overlay actually no gradient overlay would be nice and I'm gonna add this blue one because that's my favorite color so yeah blue and I'm just gonna leave it like that and make it maybe 90% opacity and then I'm gonna add a drop shadow a drop shadow it just really makes it stand out a bit more it's really really useful it looks makes it look professional so distance zero spread I do like a 44 maybe I'm gonna try this 44 and 44 yeah that looks pretty nice or 45 45 yeah that looks nice see it gives it like a shadow behind your uh, font or your text like a drop shadow as it says and then I'm gonna press ok so that looks nice so far really really like it and then maybe I'm gonna make a second J because my name's JD John and I'm just gonna for JD the J and then John for a, a different J so if you wanna make a duplicate of your uh, original one just go over to your layer right here right click and then you will see duplicate layer and then press OK and then you have your copy right here and I'm gonna place this over here I'm gonna leave my copy as the color blue but I'm gonna go back to your original one and I'm gonna make it a different color actually so maybe a white a white would be nice um color gradient overlay and then change the color yeah I'm gonna leave it like that so it gives you like a metallic look black and white it fades into a white and press OK and yeah guys that's pretty much your uh, m your main logo done but if you want to center it properly what you wanna do is uh, click on the layer so if you want to go to J copy and then go to uh, actually before you go to layer go to um, click sorry control A and that will select everything and then go to layer align layers to selection press horizontal centers and then layer align layer selections vertical centers and that will just center it exactly in the middle so that's pretty cool and then the J behind it looks nice so there's a blue one the main ones the blue and then the second one behind it is like the second layer or the second font whatever you want to call it and I'm just gonna leave it like that it looks pretty nice and then guys if you want to make a ring or like um kinda like a I'll show you there now ellipse tool if you want to make a circle around your your um your main logo just do this and then you want to make your fill to nothing and your stroke to maybe a white and then add your stroke maybe 35 pt Thirty five pt maybe control deselect and then yeah 35 pt and press ok and that will just make your um 
your ring or your elip- ellipse, if you want to call it that, uh, a bit bigger and a thicker in size. So then you want to drag it and just make it fit like this. If you want to make it go behind your main logo, then you drag it over here in layer, in the layers, and then make sure it's be it's behind your uh, J's. So like you place it down here. And then your J's would be in front of your uh, your uh, ring. And then uh, you want to add a bit more effects to your ring. So then again, do the same thing as usual. Go to blending options. I'm going to add a stroke of four. And then drop shadow of zero. And then 44 spread and size. 44 and then press OK so that's practically your logo finished you can add a bit more detail if you want like for example uh, go back up here and create a new layer actually create a new layer from your ellipse one so create a new layer and then you can add kind of like a, a splatter if you want just make it look cool for example there's already presets here. You can add a little splatter of ink. So, for example, actually, just look for the right one. So, this is pretty cool. And then you just want to click it. Boom. It will make it white. But if you want to change the color, you can just hover over layer 2. And then blending options again the color overlay and then you can make it whatever color you want so I'm gonna make it mine maybe a blue a light blue or purple yeah I'm gonna make it like a light purple actually red red seems pretty nice dark red press OK and then if you want to make it bigger just go over here to your move tool and then drag this anchor point on the corner and press shift and then click onto it so it keeps its proportion and just drag it the size that you want it to be and then just place it like that and yeah it looks pretty cool then click that check mark over there and if you want uh, that kind of like a, a that brush splatter uh, underneath your ring, then just drag it along and underneath the ellipse one. And there you go. It's underneath everything. So it just looks more professional in, in my eyes anyway. So and then you want to export your whole profile picture so you can actually uh, upload it onto your uh, YouTube channel. So you click export. Render video and then name it whatever you want so you can name it YouTube profile picture and then you want to make sure it's JPEG and then render and then you want to go just click OK again and that's pretty much it guys it's rendered and it looks pretty nice if you want to add a bit more effects to it you can add more blush or blush or brush splatters and uh, a different font maybe or three j's if you want or three m's or whatever you're going to put down and it looks pretty cool doesn't it guys so that's pretty much it for today guys if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for daily videos if you want more of these videos just like this for example a youtube banner or banner i'm going to be doing next uh, just like or drop a like down below and i will know so yeah guys peace out